Say hello. This is number 10 video in the series of my Colombian trip. Um, in this picture, you see them lugging luggage across the bridge from Colombia into Ecuador. Um, and I'll explain about that in a minute. It was, uh, it was a bit of a mess, a lot of bus issues. <laughs> Be familiar. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> like any time you go through a disaster, the people that you're around, they, you become close. And that group of people on the bus, um, it was a lot of fun experiencing the problems with that group. Uh, it was rather interesting. The group was almost entirely made up of Venezuelans and some Colombians. There were four uh, Ecuadorians there uh, and me. I was the only gringo. And um, it started off with the bus out of Cali was not available. And so they had to substitute it. And the bus was kind of crappy. But it got worse from there. Instead of going directly to Quito, the bus they substituted wasn't authorized to go international. Therefore, it had to be changed at the border, which isn't the way it's supposed to be. And so with the change, everybody gets off the bus. We walk up the hill. We go to one immigration. We walk back to the bus. Then we're told, go over to the other immigration. So we go over to Ecuador, do our immigration. But then we have to walk back into Colombia, which is actually not legal. And as we're over there, they the bus goes away and uh, the other bus isn't coming for a while and it's going to meet us on the Ecuadorian side. And so they look, somebody uh, comes with a cart and they start hauling people's baggage and I just took a backpack. So we get over on the other side and we get in a bus and that's the red one that was shown and it's supposed to be a nice sleeper bus. It might have been nice 20 years ago. The thing was total crap, very uncomfortable. Um, desperately in need of maintenance. Now these pictures along the way here are just pictures along the way. Um, by the time I got to this point, we're three days getting ready to go into the fourth day of this trip home. I was exhausted. I needed a shower. I was kind of cranky. And so, honestly, I just wasn't up to doing much for videos and pictures. So I'm just showing you what I've got here. Well, now I know. Um, when they sent me to the uh, south terminal, um, it was wrong. And this is the north terminal, and that's where they sent me. But when I got here, at two or three in the morning. Um, I think they were just trying to sell me a ticket to get out of here uh, because they acted like they didn't know what I was talking about for the, for the direct bus. But it's here. Is it possible? Could it be a NASCAR fan? They drive like it. Okay, tell me if you can see anything wrong with that. So we're winding this trip up. We're at the tail end of it. I'm basically at the bus station 
getting ready to go, and then I get on and going from Quito back to Cuenca. And then in Cuenca, I arrive there at 4, 4.30 in the morning, and I managed to catch a bus out to Giron. And so that was, uh, that was all well and good. But there's more to this disaster, and I'm going to do one more video, and it will be strictly about how to take a bus to Colombia and get back without having to spend four days on the road one way and two and a half days the other way. I figured it out, and all the information I found on the internet beforehand was total bunk. It completely misled me, and it, I should never have paid attention and listened to it, but I did, and uh, so I'm going to clue you in on that. Despite the bus problems, all in all, this was a great trip. I had a good time. It was really fun to see a place that I hadn't seen in so long and marvel at the changes. It was amazing how much Armenia has changed in the last 15 years. It was very safe, very comfortable, very clean. Uh, no danger at all. I wasn't about to get shot at this time around. It was. Uh, just a wonderful experience. Whether you live there or just looking for a place to vacation, I strongly recommend it. People couldn't be nicer. It's, uh, it's just super. I mean, how do you get there and in the first day end up with people taking you all around out to dinner and sightseeing? And, I mean, where does that happen? It happens there. It's the way it was before. It's the way it is now. If you're looking for help, if you're looking for a friend, you don't have to look. They're going to find you. Uh, they found me. So I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, most of it was a lot of fun for me. And stay tuned for the next one. It will be strictly on how to do a bus. You know you could.